Darling, you send me I know you For this project, you will need the following A bradle A hammer A screwdriver a ruler, some scrap wood, screws, preferably stainless steel so they don't rust, and these items are optional. A drill, a wire brush, linseed oil and a weed burner. I was looking for an affordable way of improving our house number and came across this idea online. I figured it would be a great little project to do with my son. And the great thing is, this is so simple to do and very effective. The first thing you'll need to do is plan what piece of wood you're going to use as the backing and then decide how big your number is going to be. We then used a website to create a sheet of paper with crosses spaced out so I could mark the wood for the holes. You can design your number on the computer or just cut out your number from a sheet of dots and follow that. If you don't have a printer, you could mark the holes using a ruler to give yourself even spacing. We then attached our sheet of paper to our scrap of wood and punched through the paper to mark our holes for drilling. We tried with a hammer and nail to start with but found a bradle much more effective. It's worth doing a test on a scrap of wood like we did first. You're only looking to leave a mark to guide where you're going to drill or screw. Then at this point we gave our board a good sanding and commenced drilling. Start off slow and steady and keep the drill nice and straight for every hole. We actually drilled straight into our dining table so please do use a scrap of wood underneath or work on a workbench. You don't need a drill for this project, you can just screw into the holes you have made with the bradle or with a screwdriver, but the pre-drilling makes the whole thing a lot easier on your wrists. We decided that the dark blackish brown colour would work well with the shiny screw heads and after looking at different finishes available, we decided to try our hands at a bit of Shao Suji Balm. I put a link in the description to a separate video on this process, but it really is very simple. Burn your wood. Wire brush off the loose stuff and then give it a coat of linseed oil. Now it's time to screw in the screws. This is where it really comes together fast, but slow and steady really wins the race as you don't want wonky screws. We decided to use quite long screws as we like the way the shadows are cast, adding to the depth effect. Once all the screws are in, use a ruler and a manual screwdriver to adjust the screws to the same height. I think you will agree it looks great and best of all was really a cheap fun project to do. Darling. Thanks for watching guys. You know the drill. Please like and share and subscribe for more videos. Darling, you send me.